Okay, uh, in that last video, uh, I kind of offhand mentioned that I hadn't done any sort of optimization or tweaking on the auto trickler. Um, and so I did want to uh, do a little bit of follow up just showing, uh, you know, what the difference is. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run the built in calibration uh, that is in the auto trickler app um, and see if those settings improve the speed and efficiency. Um, of the, the powder drops. And so um, I'm going to run that real quick and then we'll come back and we're going to do, or yeah, I'm going to do a series of uh, 30 drops and do the same statistics and see uh, if this is any improvement on the, the basic default settings. So I um, ran the calibration procedure. I'll roll in the, um, the settings that it, that it gave me coming out of that. And so um, now I'm going to run uh, 30 charges. You can see we're back to 41 grains here. So uh, here we go. All right. So uh, after that little test, uh, things aren't looking real great for the calibration process. Um, the average was 41, so the exact same as the uncalibrated results. And the standard deviation was 0.02 the exact same as the previous result. So it was no more accurate, of course, you know, given the um, the tiny standard deviation and the bang on uh, average of the previous result, you know, you really couldn't get any better anyway. But uh, the thing is just, it seemed slower. I, now I, I, I'm gonna roll in, um, you know, right here, you know, what the actual specs were for the average time and the, the standard deviation of the time for each drop. Um, I'll have to look at the video before I can give that to you, but I'll roll that in here. Um, it just, it seems slower. Um, if nothing else, it, it definitely didn't seem any faster, right? So not a real big gain from that. So I went out and um, one of the things I'd seen was some settings that somebody had put up on Sniper's Hide um, that they were saying they were getting drops with H4350 of like sub 15 seconds. So... Um, here are the settings that, that they recommended. Um, so I have ran the calibration procedure a couple times in a row. Um, I'm using their custom speed settings. Uh, I'm, I'm currently, you know, still set to 41 grains of powder for each drop. So I'm going to run this one last time to see, um, you know, does this thing really go as fast as some of the people are claiming, you know, sub 20, sub 15 second. Uh, drop times. So here we go. Okay, uh, so that is the final throw. Um, you can see it's measuring 41.02, so if I drop that in there. Uh, what we end up with, with the custom settings that, again, I, I pulled from some dude on the internet, um, was it, it does seem much faster. Um, it certainly seemed to save quite a bit of time. Again, I'll have to look at the video. Um, but I'll put that in here where you can see just how much faster these settings were. Um, the thing is that you are sacrificing some accuracy um, when you do that. So those settings, at least on my machine with this powder, probably I would need to tweak them a little bit to make uh, make me happy. I would want to, to recover the precision because... Um, this is the first time that uh, a series of 30 drops did not average 41.0. Uh, this averaged 41.01, and there for a while the running average was 41.02. Um, so it on average threw just a touch higher. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, that's a very small deviation. That's basically one grain too high on average, which is true. Um, but it also had about 50% higher standard deviation. Um, so the standard deviation of this series was 0.03, whereas the, the previous series uh, for the Otter Trickler were 0.02. Um, which again, is that a big problem? Well, here's where it shows up. Um, four out of the first five drops were 41.06. 
Um, the previous series had um, one drop of 41.06, and the initial run with the auto trickler before I did any calibration, um, its highest drop, it had one drop of 41.04 and none of 41.06. So um, the, the first run with the auto trickler had one drop that was outside of 40.98, 41.0, or 41.02. Um, the, the second run, once I'd calibrated it, had one drop. No, two. Sorry, it had two drops outside of those three values. Whereas this one, uh, you know, it didn't go anything below 40.98 because the way this thing is set, it will always get at least within uh, two tenths of it, or sorry, um, it will always get within 0 0.02, um, it, because that's just the tolerance. It will keep adding power. It will keep adding powder until you get to at least within 0 0.02 grains. Um, but it, it had, you know, like I said, four out of the first five drops were 41.06. Um, it settled down after that. It only had one other 41.06 drop. Um, but again, that's 5 out of 30, so 1 out of every 6 loads was 41.06, even though I had it set to 41. So that's where that variation does show up. You can get, you know, a little bit higher. Now, I will say, as far as that goes, it's still a much lower standard deviation than the RCBS got, and it did run quite quick. Um, so maybe with a little bit of tweaking, I could keep most of that speed and recover... Uh, that precision, so I'm not getting those higher drops, and and maybe that's okay. Um, but anyway, that's that's the data. That's what it says, right? Um, tuning definitely gets you some speed, um, is what it looks like. Um, now, whether you have to always give up precision, again, maybe if I keep playing with this, I can get that standard deviation back down to that 0.02, which is about as good as you can possibly hope for, again, given the resolution of the scale. Um, and certainly, you know, the, the speed is nice. Um, saving 5 to 10 seconds load, sure, that's great. Um, but, you know, those stock settings, you go back to that, you only give up 5 to 10 seconds drop. It was still doing pretty good, and it was getting about as much precision as a person could hope for. So there's the trade-offs. That's what you're looking at. Um, anyway, I uh, hope that was informative. Anybody that was curious, hey, can you really get these things to go fast? Well, you can certainly speed them up. Um, and you're not giving up a ton, especially, again, compared to the RCBS. Uh, you can tune this auto trickler up to go much faster um, and still be more precise. Now, again, uh, we'll see. Maybe I can get this thing even better. I doubt I will make another video because it's probably just not worth it. Um, figure you guys get the point by now. Uh, anyway, if you've got any questions, as always, just leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do about it. Thanks.